Red Bull's drama meter is off the charts, and it looks like we've hit a full-blown meltdown. As the chaos unfolds, Mercedes is lurking in the shadows, eyes fixed on the situation, ready to pounce on any chance of snagging Max Verstappen. Here's the twist. There's a clause in Verstappen's contract that allows him to walk away anytime Helmut Marco leaves. And it's not just Max. It seems he's planning to take the legendary Adrian Newey with him. The F1 world is on the edge of its seat, watching this high-stakes chess game unfold fold. Will Red Bull manage to hold on to their star driver and mastermind engineer? Or is this the beginning of a seismic shift in the F1 power dynamics? Red Bull has been cautioned that the current issues within the organization might lead to Max Verstappen leaving the team. The focus during the Bahrain Grand Prix was on Christian Horner due to alleged leaked WhatsApp messages between him and a woman who reportedly filed a complaint against him. After an investigation, Red Bull GmbH stated that the complaint against Horner was dismissed before the alleged messages surfaced. On Saturday night, Jos, Max Verstappen's father, stated that Red Bull would face serious problems if Horner continues in his role, saying the team would be torn apart. Former F1 driver Ralph Schumacher suggests that Max Verstappen might consider leaving Red Bull. Schumacher notes that Verstappen didn't seem very enthusiastic after a recent victory, indicating ongoing issues. According to Schumacher, there needs to be apologies or someone might have to leave the team. He emphasizes that the damage to the Red Bull brand is significant due to the ongoing turmoil. Schumacher speculates that Verstappen might choose to pursue something else, emphasizing how delicate team structures are and how quickly things Things can unravel if such issues persist within Red Bull. Talking about the possibility of Chief Technical Officer Adrian Newey leaving, Schumacher mentioned he's done it all and just wants to quietly build cars. Before losing both Newey and Verstappen, I'd find another solution. The team needs peace. Verstappen has a contract with Red Bull until 2028. If he leaves early, a hearing before the contract recognition board would be likely, costing Mercedes a significant amount to pursue Verstappen. Toto Wolff, speaking after the Bahrain Grand Prix, emphasized that drivers will always choose the fastest car. According to him, Red Bull is currently the quickest, making it the top priority for any driver. After Lewis Hamilton's surprising move to Ferrari, Mercedes is searching for a new driver to partner with George Russell starting in 2025. There are plenty of potential candidates, ranging from young Mercedes talent Andrea Kimi Antonelli to more experienced drivers like Carlos Sainz, Alex Albon, and Fernando Alonso. The recent troubles within Red Bull following an investigation into allegations against Christian Horner have sparked rumors that Mercedes might consider pursuing Max Verstappen. This could happen if Verstappen has issues with Red Bull's top management, especially since his father Jos Verstappen has called for Horner's departure. Alternatively, Verstappen might have the option to activate exit clauses in his contract if a new team boss takes charge. Wolf was spotted talking with Verstappen Sr. after the Bahrain Grand Prix, and they reportedly had dinner together during the weekend. With the ongoing Horner situation, Wolf is cautious about making an early decision and is aware that waiting might be more beneficial, especially considering potential developments with Verstappen. The decision to wait becomes even more sensible because Antonelli, whose progress Wolf wanted to observe in the early F2 races, seems to be facing a challenging start to the season. Prema, his team, hasn't had a strong beginning to the season. When asked about evaluating Antonelli given Prema's difficulties, Wolf expressed concern about a championship-winning team being 17th and 18th in F2, not where they should be. He suggested comparing Antonelli to his teammate Oliver Behrman, who he sees as a top driver. Wolf emphasized that he's not in a rush to decide on drivers this time. Referring to past pressures from Lewis Hamilton, he wants to take it easy this time and carefully assess the market as the next few races unfold. The Verstappen situation is uncertain, and it's possible that things at Red Bull might settle, removing any need for him to consider other options. Jos Verstappen, Max Verstappen's father, won't be attending the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix due to remarks he made about Red Bull boss Christian Horner. Horner was recently cleared of misconduct after an investigation into allegations of inappropriate behavior. An anonymous email linked to the case was leaked to the media, but Horner retained his position. Following Max's victory in Bahrain, Jos Verstappen expressed concerns about tension within the team, suggesting 
suggesting that Horner's continued presence could lead to internal issues. McLaren's Zach Brown and Mercedes Toto Wolff have called for more transparency from Red Bull regarding the investigation. Jos Verstappen and Horner had a heated argument before the Bahrain Grand Prix, but Verstappen later apologized. His decision to skip the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix seems to be related to the ongoing tensions within the team. Jos Verstappen, Max Verstappen's dad, has reportedly said that if Christian Horner remains at Red Bull, his son will leave the team. Jos recently had dinner with Toto Wolff of Mercedes, who is yet to find a replacement for Lewis Hamilton, set to leave for Ferrari in 2025. It's unclear if Max shares his father's views on Horner or leaving the team. Amid rising tensions at Red Bull and a shift in the narrative, Jos Verstappen decided not to attend the Jeddah race. Despite his absence, discussions about Verstappen's father are likely to dominate the the pre-race buzz. Jos Verstappen's strong words about Horner caused a stir, and reports suggest that Max might face a tough choice between his father and the head of the team. This sentiment has apparently been growing within the team for some time. On Sunday, The Telegraph reported that Max Verstappen was asked by Mohammed Ben Sulayem, the FIA president, to publicly support Horner. BBC Sport independently verified this information. Ben Sulayem approached Max after he gave only conditional support to Horner when questioned about his confidence in him before the Bahrain Grand Prix. The FIA has not provided a comment on this matter. This development is noteworthy because Max holds significant influence at Red Bull due to his on-track success. It also highlights existing internal tensions at Red Bull, involving conflicts between Horner and motorsport advisor Helmut Marko, as well as between the Thai majority owners and executives in Austria. Last year, the Verstappen supported Marco after a disagreement with Horner. The ownership structure of the company is divided, with 51% owned by the Juvedia family and 49% by Red Bull in Austria, led by Mark Mateschitz, the son of co-founder Dietrich Mateschitz. Max Verstappen began his quest for a fourth consecutive world title with a commanding win in Bahrain. However, the focus was on the controversy involving Red Bull's team principal Christian Horner during the season opener. A day after Red Bull declared that the complete against Horner had been dismissed following an internal investigation, an anonymous email containing messages supposedly involving Horner was leaked. Horner declined to comment on the speculative messages from an unknown source, expressing absolute confidence in staying in his role for the entire season. He emphasized the completion of a thorough internal process, handled independently, that led to the dismissal of the raised grievance. Efforts to get Horner to confirm the authenticity of the leaked messages were blocked by a Red Bull PR representative. The team has not disclosed details about the involved lawyer or the report, maintaining secrecy around the decision-making process. Christian Horner arranged a face-to-face -face meeting with Max Verstappen's representative in Dubai on Monday to address escalating tensions within Red Bull. The team boss faced scrutiny at the Bahrain Grand Prix, where an investigation cleared him of allegations of inappropriate behavior. However, leaked material purportedly related to the investigation emerged on Thursday from an anonymous email account. Despite the controversy, Red Bull had a successful start to the season in Bahrain, with Max Verstappen securing a victory. Horner, accompanied by his wife Jerry and Red Bull GmbH majority stakeholder Chalem Yuvidia, expressed confidence in remaining in charge for the upcoming Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. In an interview with Sky Sports F1, Horner affirmed his expectation to stay in his role, emphasizing the unity within the team and the strong support from partners and shareholders. It seems that both Marco and Horner want to be the top leader at Red Bull, and the passing of Mateschitz has created an opportunity to remove Horner. The allegations against Horner may be weak or even fabricated, which is why he hired a lawyer and refused to resign without a thorough investigation. Marco, with Verstappen's support, attempted to use this situation to push Horner out, but it seems unsuccessful. The conflict between Horner and Helmut likely began with the signing of De Vries in 2022. Horner wanted someone from the Red Bull Junior program, like Lawson, while while Helmut preferred De Vries. After De Vries proved successful and Helmut faced PR issues, Horner attempted to remove him. Now it has escalated into a full-fledged power struggle, and there's anticipation for what revelations Horner may have in the next round of this power match. What are your thoughts? Drop them in the comments below!